But a former FDA commissioner warns the next few months could be the hardest yet in the fight against COVID-19. Making matters worse, it's flu season two, and some people who survived COVID are proving that getting it doesn't necessarily mean you become immune to it. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo has the story. A fall surge in COVID-19 cases has arrived. Florida and Connecticut lead the nation with increases of 50%. In June, we started seeing these blips and then, you know, it got way ahead of us. University of Miami, Dr. Carasquillo, who has been on the front line, says we need to act like if it is going to hit us. According to Miami Day's new normal dashboard, the 14 day percent positivity rate in Miami Dade is at 4.62%, and Broward County is at 3.76%. 6%. And as medical experts predict an increase of more cases towards November, Dr. Eileen Marty warns influenza is still lingering, urging those that have had COVID-19 to be extra cautious because reinfections are happening. We don't see right now that people have long-lasting immunity. We have documented cases of reinfection within six weeks. And the second time, people have ended up in the hospital sicker than they were the first time. Dr. Marty urging these individuals to get your flu shot. Yes, and it's always worse. Uh, we have documentation, quite a, quite a number of patients, both viruses at the same time, is much harder for your body to handle. Well, Dr. Marty mentions your immune system is weak if you were infected with COVID-19. One of the things that the virus does is lower the count and capability of those cells that are critical for adaptive immunity. So their immune system is weaker. We're doing studies now to see for how long that weakening lasts. Now getting a flu vaccine won't prevent you from contracting COVID-19, but it could help you from having both at the same time. At Jackson Memorial Hospital, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News tonight.